hello viewers good day in today's video we will see how can we add a poll in our site poll or voting in our site very quickly and easily by using a plugin it's called yop pool okay so let's get started uh, first of all i will uh, create a uh, what is website for this i am using instawp here it's a, a very uh, scalable solution for testing something out in wordpress click on add new i will add a uh, default wordpress site let's create site our site has been created i will log into the site after that first of all i will create a new page for our poll let's give it a title okay i will add the short code here now i will go to the plugins area click on add new search for yop pool sorry it's poll actually it's here uh, it's a very popular plugin let's click on install now our plugin has been installed i will activate it see a new menu is added here here you can see all polls you can add new polls you can ban any user or you can see the logs and here is the settings i'll go to the add new section I think my net is creating problem. Let's reload the page. Okay, here it is. I will uh, go to the YOP pool. Let's go to the all pools. Click on add new here. So uh, this plugin has uh, pro and free version. I will use the free version here. Um, let's click on this basic template. Click on use and customize select your uh, design from here let's select a simple basic one uh, i go go for this one now see here is a customization area first of all uh, here is a question sec section of the poll and he here you can see the uh, answers okay so i will uh, uh, add a question what social media do you use this is our question here and i will add if you want there is uh, by default two answers for this poll i will add two more so three more okay so first one is it's a facebook second one is let's say twitter third one is let's say linkedin Uh, fourth one is am I right uh, is it correct okay it's correct fourth one is let's say mm, Pinterest and this one for I don't okay so our question is 
ready our answer is ready you can mark anyone by default but we are not doing that after that if you click to the publish let's say it's asking for uh, a name for the poll I'm using this title now I go to the design we have see the design already here is a question answer area there's some options okay I, I will use all the defaults one you can choose by your uh, preference you can choose the access here vote permission I will choose guest and WordPress uh, blog voters okay uh, you can blog voters by cookie by IP by user ID or by fingerprint I, uh, I will choose don't block now if I click to the publish it's showing some other uh, results the uh, settings here show results after vote show results to guest and registered show details as vote numbers and percentage I will choose vote numbers I think all done let's click on the publish so our poll is successfully added here is a message if I go to the all polls area now you see our poll has been created and a short code is provided I'll create the copy the short code go to my page here I will paste the short code now if I click publish our page is published let's view the page see our beautiful poll has been added now I will uh, check by as a logged in user let's say Twitter vote it will ask for sign in with WordPress or anonymous vote I will choose anonymous vote see our vote is uh, has been done showing the success message and showing the vote count okay let's ch check this one by using from incognito window let's say from here I will choose LinkedIn I will vote and you must vote see our vote, uh, Twitter account is one LinkedIn account is one okay so I hope you like this video uh, and thanks for joining with me today for this uh, tutorial so please subscribe I will see you in my next video that's all for today bye